Hey everyone, welcome back to the early access of Beneath Aressa. I'm Disturbing Puppet. We are playing with a new faction, the Tainted, or Tainted Ones, and playing as Sora. She's the third of the various different characters that I've tried out. Um, yeah, she's been a bit iffy, so once we get to eight, she, uh, eight virus charges, she essentially transforms and gets a bit more powerful, gets uh, an interesting new card, which can change some mechanics for the rest of the fight with her, which is nice. Um, but I feel like she needs a bit more health. Some of that is just sort of choices you make as you go through the dungeon and kind of what pops up and stuff. Card-wise, uh, pretty good. I don't think anything too terrible, um, I, but I do feel like I need some more defensive cards. So we are going to continue progressing. We're on to the third and final zone. I barely made it through the second, so I'm not sure we're going to actually make it that far, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I think here we're just going to upgrade a card. So what are our choices? Um, let's see. So this kind of maxes out at 25. This is just 15 per far foe, so like if there's two, that's 30. Whereas now, if there's two, I'm at 24. So I guess that's an increase. We can increase the damage on this. We kill somebody, we get the energy back, which is nice. The free card at the beginning here going up change it so it does more damage but also as long as it's four or less we can still play it that kind of mitigates the negative on it increasing the damage on quick succession is also quite nice that's the real difference here so this symbol is for the cards you get when you reach certain virus thresholds, so at 5, 10, uh, 15, that kind of thing. So we play it, draw the, this card, gain 2 Temporary Fury. When you play this, draw this card, gain 4 Temporary Fury. So you're changing more upfront damage. Yeah, I think that's a better choice. Um, yeah, I think probably, as much as I'd like to upgrade one of these two... I think I kind of need to get more defense, so I'm actually going to go with the dodge one. Not 100% sure on that, just kind of feels like I need the defense. Okay, combat at two stuns to drop pile, that's bad, um, and gain one fury, so one extra damage to all my cards, but two junk cards in my deck. Now, I've already got enough junk cards with the viruses and stuff that we're going to add, so we'll do a regular fight. All right, buddies, what do we get? So you're both guarding. Give me some benefit. Each round you get more, you heal other people. This guy gained 15 when we die. This guy, benefit, bonus until you're hurt. So yeah, we wanna hurt you. So you can enjoy a little pain, that's fine. I want to play the zero costs first, because that's going to increase my temporary fury. So maybe I just level this guy, but... I should try to get something through here. Okay, then I can one-shot kill that guy. No, I can't, because I'm not next to him. This is a heavy attack. Heavy, you can only play next someone who's next to you. So you'd have to waste an attack to get near him, then hit him. Um, I mean, we could hit the other guy here. Just as a way to um, draw another card, get another action. But I think we're just going to come back and kill you. Which, I mean... I have to use two cards to do it. Or I can use, you know, go a bit overkill on him, maybe. But we could... So if I kill him... There's two on you to kill you. Then three, four, five. Okay, what can I use? So I knock you back. Go aggression on you. Kill you off. 
Get the rage, which is going to increase my damage. Then I can hammer the snot out of you. And kill you. Does that have reinforcements? But there's only so many. We have to get through them anyway. Okay, I only saw one there and was like, oh, just one. Uh, no. So this guy will eventually try to blow up in our face. Uh, this guy, every time you target a different foe, he gets stronger. So we might want to try to kill him. Can do some just general damage here. He still has his shield up. So that's unfortunate. So anything I do is kind of a waste on him. He's just going to block it. Twenty-two to somebody. Uh, I mean, I guess we can get you to the point where I can kill you quickly later. Get rid of a virus. Not so nice. Alright, he's going to blow up right now. They're all right next to me, though, which is kind of a problem. Not quite enough to kill you. I could get an attack that's quite high, though. Give me that. Well, what's my best choice here? this. Make sure we target the right guy. We kill you. Make sure we target the right guy. We kill you. So there are more reinforcements coming, but we're fine for the moment. Just get rid of the spreading infection. Yeah, the animations have been kind of choppy when I've been playing this. There have been some updates and things, but um, last time I played it, it was pretty smooth. This time, it's uh, being very iffy, <laughs> I'd have to say. Are you the same as this guy? Each time this foe's wounded, they lose um, uh, slightly different. So he's going to get stronger every time somebody dies and every round. Yeah, not great. Give me the defense. I can only kill one guy, and that's it. So, I guess I should. Then. He's open, so let's hit him. I'm going to take some damage here. So we're down to kind of the better of the last of you. Two viruses, that's not great. I can't kill you. I can do a lot of damage, but it's not enough. I'm going to take a ton here. That'll give me some defense. A little bit. So, I mean, now we can kill you. Let's go with now. Give me actions. Card draw, so we get our nice mutation. Looks like I just drew a bunch of viruses, though. Oh, so it's different depending on what we play. So here you can kind of see there's... It's kind of hard to see her because we can't look at her directly, but she's got kind of some armored crustulations and stuff on her shoulders. When I went with the defensive one before, there was a bunch of stuff her arms changed. So it is different depending on what you do. So that's cool. Uh, very cool. I appreciate those kind of touches. 
still can't kill you. I've got the block covered. I think I'm just gonna get rid of a virus just to reduce the damage. And first attack's kind of wasted. quite enough to kill you, which is disappointing. Uh, what is it, 12? Just regular block. Now you die. I think it's kind of funny to kill people with the viper's bite. But... Alright, that didn't go so badly. Feed on corruption. 12 for each virus in hand it is discarded and this attack deals six extra damage that's pretty good um i'd want to be careful when i use it though first is charge is consumable so you play it once and then it is permanently gone unless you upgrade it so don't play it till you upgrade it if you want to keep it 17 draw a card and if the target's far gain some bonuses not bad this one's upgrades. So plus nine for each virus, or uh, higher upfront damage and then plus six per virus. Yeah, I kind of like the feed on corruption. I just have to be careful about when I use it, because we get rid of the viruses, which then drops my virus total. I'd like the attack with the built-in draw, though. That's quite good. This is more like maybe try to save it till we can kill somebody with it. This is more just keep the attacks and card draw and stuff going. Problem with this is if I get this, then there's going to be quite a few times when I don't want to use it. Starting off at 12 and 6. Yeah, I mean, it's good. I'm going to go ahead and take it, although I'm, I might regret it because it's going to be sort of taking up space when I might want other attacks instead sometimes. Okay. Um, I don't want to lose any HP because that's kind of been an issue. How about we just upgrade a card? That sounds pretty decent. All right. So... Increasing damage, either one of these, not bad. Increasing defense, not bad. So this one... So if we have 8, if it's in the discard pile, return to hand, it gains 30 damage and fleeting. So fleeting, I think we can just play once and then it's gone for the fight. This way it's just coming back. So increasing the damage and it comes back if I've got 8 is pretty good. We can reduce the amount of, well, it's two at the moment, so keep it at two. We can go more damage to try to kill somebody off. I kind of like increasing the damage on this, and then if, if I am at eight virus, it comes back. So 1 for 22, and then has a built-in nice benefit, so it's better than the 1 for 20s with the virus. Uh, but I also like the defense, so eh. I think we'll take the attack for the moment, but I might want to look at the next thing I do should probably be an upgrade to a defense. Okay, basic attack. Uh, yeah, we'll take extra actions and cards on the first round because I get benefits for attacking different targets. Okay, he gave me some junk, it looked like. So you, when this foe is destroyed, add a curse to the discard pile. First time each round you play an attack near this foe, add a curse to your draw pile. Each time a curse is erased, he takes 50 damage. Combat begins, five curses to the discard pile. All right, so yeah, we have some things where we want to kind of spread out some attacks early on, so I will do that. Go over and say hello, which will also, if he gives me curses, is going to give me some defense as well. 
Draw some cards. What is this? Random foe takes 10 damage and a curse. Uh, sure. Ah, that hurts that guy as well. So you're at 14. Uh, let's kill you and get the action back. We haven't hit the big guy. Let's go ahead and hit the big guy, I think. Because that helps me as well. Little guy. Let's go jump on you. Um, what else do we want to do? Basic attack. So I have some decent hits. So you're attacking me for 48 at the moment, which is kind of excessive, buddy. Um, I'll get some extra. For some hits, I guess, is all I can really do. 48. Uh, we can block a bit more or get some damage. Let's do some damage here. Okay, this turn he's not really doing anything that's going to affect me. Yes, yeah, so we got the feed on corruption. At the moment, just with the one virus, not really what I want to do. I just want to focus on hitting you, if I can. Good shot, but... So that doesn't count as a curse, right? I'm assuming it would say curse. I think this is a virus, not a curse. So I think it's a separate category, only for this faction. Um... Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and do that, even though it does reduce my virus count. So now you want to hit me for 44. That also, not nice. More defense. Definitely need more defense. We could set up the Viper's Bite on him, maybe. Um, I should probably just go defense. A little damage. So 44 plus 3 viruses is 6, so it's 50 damage total. I could get rid of a virus or two. Uh, instead, I'm going to suck it up here for the moment and just do damage. Which is a lot. Okay, so this one, I can't get rid of. Attacking me for 48. Dude, that's just not nice. Um, yeah, I gotta get rid of the virus. There's nothing else I can really do. Just to reduce the damage I'm taking. I moved, and took a hit. A lot of damage to me, though. Alright, let's go save go. See, I can do quite a lot of damage, but it's the timing and the card draw that's affecting a lot of it. want to keep the viruses as is. It's fine for this turn. I don't know if I... Well, we're at 6. I don't know if I'm going to get to 10 anytime soon. Yeah, I'll keep them for now. So now he's going to hit me for a bunch. Not a fan. can't kill you, so I should probably go for the defense. Still doesn't cover everything. Oh, we got there. Nice. Um, what's your health at? 
82. Can I do 82? Very unlikely I can do 82 damage with the burst. Purge gives me, um, gets rid of viruses, gives me a bunch of defense. A little bit more offensive power. What's my block at the moment? 35, you're getting me for 44. I don't know if that actually gives me the 7 right away. But I'll go with Purge. Let's see. It actually gave me more than 7. It gave me 14 there. Uh, okay. Yeah, as you can kind of see, this one, defensively, our arms get all armored up and stuff, which is cool. Alright, Proteans. Just play that, do 50 damage to you. And then we can just kill you. Nice. I did take a bit more damage than I would have liked there, though. Double feedback. Anchor. Gain defense and deal damage to each foe equal to... I'm assuming that's my virus count. So most of the time, like... Three to eight? Something like that. So three defense and three damage. Eh. Shirt pain. When you draw a virus, deal non-lethal damage equal to the amount of virus in hand to each near foe. That's okay. Uh, once we play this, it's in effect for the rest of the fight. We can upgrade it to decrease the cost. Blood Sacrifice is 2 for 28. Then at 3, draw and discard a card, add a virus. We can upgrade it to be better defensive. I don't know. It's kind of hard to get the 2 cost stuff in sometimes. I do feel like I need more defense. Shirt Pain's not going to do that much damage. A couple points here and there. Double Feedback, not going to do that much damage either. So I guess Blood Sacrifice is probably my best choice. Alright, Antiquorum, Increased Companionship, lose an Antiquorum. Well, that's unfortunate. So this one, each combat gain one Divine Intercession. Okay. First companionship. And I think because we had it already, that's why it didn't have me select something. So that's just the way it's going to work then. You drop down below, you lose it, and it goes back up, you don't get it back again. So I have to get rid of something. Um, I'm not sure what we get... One of six cards, reduce its cost by one until played. It could be very good. I like most of this stuff. So this is going to be more helpful depending on the enemies we run into. It's sort of situational. This is probably the least generally helpful, but it's just kind of straight beneficial defense if somebody is giving me curses. But that's probably helping me the least. Um, and then next is probably this one. So giving me two fury when we kill the enemy. Um, whoever we attack first, once we kill them, we get two fury for the rest of the fight. So just increasing damage by two for the rest of the fight. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go Bane of the Cults. It's an okay one. It's sort of generally helpful to get some passive defense. But I'm not running into too many enemies that are giving me those curses. Alright, so we have a regular fight or an elite. I'm not really in good shape, so I think we're going to take the regular fight. I think an elite would probably kill me, but it would kind of depend on who the elite is. Alright, so you... When a foe... This foe gains health... Essentially, recovery when a foe is destroyed. Same for you. Each round, all allies heal 10 HP. When this foe is destroyed, all near combatants take 15 damage. We might want to just focus on you then, you jerk. But uh, first round, we should throw some attacks around. 
So I'm gonna do that and see what we get. Okay, buddy. Got another zero. How much damage can I do to you? Choose one of six cards, reduce its cost by one until played. I wonder if I should go ahead and do that. This has got anchor, so we can save it. It might be something that I might need to save my life. So, I mean... 26. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Let's see what we can get. Brutal start. 25 for 1. Can only be played on far targets. Alright, that's not great. Misty Sweep. Gain 13. Discard 1 if able. Erase of Virus. Burning Alteration. Limited. Gain 8 defense. 1 Fury. Vibrant Siljerion. So, 10 damage. Uh, do some extra stuff, depending on viral amounts we don't have. 5 Temporary Fury. So that increases damage. Knockback. 11. Gain a Rage. Uh, the only one that's going to help me a lot at the moment would be this one. So I'm going to play that. 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 Kill you. Damage your buddy. Nice. Okay, so both of these guys are healing now. You're weaker, so if we want to hurt somebody, you're the target. I uh, don't need any defense. Alright, so you... Extra damage if you don't get hurt. This guy healed a ton. But I can pretty easily kill you. I think. 19, that's not quite enough. Uh, yeah, it's kind of goofy, but sure, we'll kill you with a Viper's Bite. Alright, I've got almost enough coverage for defense. me... Yeah, the attack. So at the moment, I'm only going to take one. Actually, I'm going to take three because of the virus. Or I can take less if I get rid of that virus. Yeah, we'll do that. So I'll take one. And now I can kill you. Nice. Fairly smooth. Uh, would have been nice to take nothing, but what are you going to do? Keep up the pressure. Zero. So when we're at four, when a foe is destroyed, draw one. It's generally, I mean, it's fine. There's no real negatives or problems with it. So once we're at four, and then we kill somebody, we draw a card. So card draw generally nice. Uh, we've got Quick Succession already. It's pretty decent. Tireless Assault, 12. 3 Virus, if you have no close combat attacks in hand, draw 2 cards. So, more card draw. So, generally nice. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, I kind of like the free stuff, though. Um, and that's card draw when we kill. This triggers at three, this triggers at four, this is attack as well. Um, yeah, I mean, either one's okay. This can be upgraded to kill somebody, draw two. Yeah, let's take, keep the pressure. Uh, the zero cost will increase my temporary fury. And then if we can kill stuff, we can draw additional cards. So, yeah, I think I gotta take a heal here. A lot of times it's already the best choice. 
All right, regular fight. This combat gain 10 defense on the first round, or draw two extra cards on the first round. I like drawing the additional cards because I can do a lot. It's only two enemies, though. All right, so you... If you're attacked, you're going to give me some crap. Each round, all allies heal 10. This foe is destroyed, near combatants take damage. You're the same. Yeah, so they're healing each other. That's a bunch of crap. But initially, we want to smack them each. Um, just to get some additional cards and actions and stuff going. Now we probably just want to focus on one of them. So you're moving, so you can have the Viper Bite. Then do we just focus on this one guy? Probably. 45 attacks coming in. That's a lot. So I should kind of think about that as well. Um, no more zero cost. I can get a zero cost. So, we're at three. I kind of need to get this up. gonna need it for sure let's go ahead and do it we could go with the divine intercession um, I think I'm gonna wait this time though so the most damage I can do is 20 yeah we'll just keep wailing on that guy and we'll keep the divine intercession for the moment out here. So he did take the damage leaving. So he is now pretty vulnerable. Uh, we are targeting the far guy, right? Yes. Alright, so both of you flee far before attacking. Alright, 21. I'd like to hurt you with something and kill you with this, but it looks like that's not going to work out. Play that, because it's free. don't really have much defense, so I'm going to go ahead and do this, see what I can get. Symbiotic feeding. Playing an injector, gain a cobalt surge, I don't have any injectors, it's fine. We could get the adaptive tactics for the defense there. Uh, this is pretty good, I actually was kind of hoping I'd get this at some point. It kind of negates the damage that viruses do to you, if you can get this up. Uh, I'll take the adaptive tactics, because that'll also increase my attacks at the moment, and we're going to go with the defensive one. Give me some block. And then I think we just have to go kill you. Pull up in my face a bit, which is not very nice. Give me some defense. Just go more defense. Or 15 damage. Yeah, we'll go more defense here. Not 30 attack, which is kind of crazy. Okay, let's draw some stuff. Get stronger. A couple blocks. and I don't really have anything. Yeah, I've got to just block. I'm going to take a bunch of you, though. Another 30 attack. Take another block. Thanks. This one's gone up in cost, that's too bad. So I'm probably going to need to play it. Now let's get rid of the virus. Alright, now I should be able to kill you. But I do 
want some defense or something. I don't have any, though. So I am going to take damage. When he dies, he's going to blow up. I don't have any knockback on anything. So we take the 15. Knockback or block, either one would have been helpful there. Deceiving Shadow, 15. If target's near, discard a random virus from the draw pile. Otherwise, add a virus to the discard pile. Uh, okay. So, not that big a deal. I don't know why it's called that. The Violent Chain is decent. We've got one of those already. Overheating Venture, 14 damage to a random near foe. If I'm at 3 virus, deal to all near foes. 5, deal to all foes. It can be improved to cost nothing, which is pretty nice, but decreases the damage. Um, it's okay. It's not a ton of damage. Early on, this would be really helpful. At this point, it's not enough damage, probably. The Violent Chain, we get that. I'd want to upgrade it. Deceiving Shadow, we can get up to 23 damage for one, which isn't bad. But it messes with my viruses. Yeah, I'll take another Violent Chain. Fifteen max HP, heal and upgrade. That's just generally all good. Um, this is mostly good, except for the card cost. Companionship up. Uh, at this point, it's going to give stuff consumable, which means once per fight, which I'm not a fan of. Antiquorum's nice. I think we'll just do this instead. All right, upgrading a card. So kill them all. We can go to 20 defense. Like I said, I think we need defensive stuff. This can be instant defense as well. More damage on the quick succession. I think we need defense though. So like getting this to 20 seems pretty reasonable to me. Going from 28 to 38 on 2. Also pretty good. I like this one because it gives me a bunch of other stuff. Um, yeah, let's do that, I guess. But if I can get some more upgrades in, that would be nice. There's at least two or three other cards I'd like to get upgraded here before the end. Alright, we have an elite. Um, increase your hand size by one, or increase your max energy by one. I think we'll take the energy, because I do have some decent card draw. Okay, what is this? So, you. Each round, gain three random resources selected from cards and energy. Each round, this foe each near ally heals five. First time each round, you play an attack near this foe at a curse. And this foe is destroyed at a curse. So, yeah, you want to curse me, apparently. Well, do a little bit of attacking. Then, still no zero costs. Some rage. How much attack is coming in? Quite a lot, actually. 80 at the moment. Let's do that. Let's do this. Sixty-five is kind of nuts. All right, let's smack you. Because that'll give me more energy as well. So this guy isn't one of the ones that... Uh, when we get rid of something, he takes damage. He's actually giving me some benefits, which is kind of weird. Weird. Increase the cost of my gory rampage. That's kind of irritating. Okay, you die. Uh, 
then I don't have a single card I can play that'll kill you unless I want to pay. Now we can get this and make that free. Or not, because apparently I didn't look at the number right. Which is very upsetting. Okay, what else can I do? Anything? I mean, I think we want to kill this guy. Draw a card here for that. Okay, 65. So I can definitely block it all. Yeah, that's what I have to do. So we'll keep the Divine Intercession for now. Now that's just you. Hit me with a giant rock. Holy crap, 82? Are you nuts? Okay, so I want to get close to him. That'll decrease the damage. Um, as long as I have any attack at all, that's fine. So, yep, yeah, let's get closer. I still need some defense, so let's grab defense. Uh, defense and damage. I might want the Divine Intercession here. Uh, okay, let's see what we got. Second wind. I don't have the viral for the extra benefit. None of these are fantastic. Take the graduated violence, I guess. Um, take the virus for extra armor. Because it's still doing a ton of damage. Okay, almost covered. Start doing some hits on you. So I did have to use the Divine Intercession there, but we avoided taking damage and got some in. He's shielding now and going to hit me for 40. That's kind of sucky. Uh, okay, place that on your shield. Looks like it still put the effect on him, though. Yeah, all right, that's kind of cool. Uh, I am going to take a ton of damage here, it looks like. I've only got nine block. That's pretty terrible. Um, maybe we get rid of the viruses to decrease the damage. Since I don't have anything else I can do. I should probably build up the viruses, but... I'm trying to avoid taking damage at the moment. Alright, now he's going to hit me. Uh, now he's not going to hit me. I've got some defense, so it's sort of unfortunate. I don't have any card draw either. Defense. I don't need the defense now. I needed it before, and I've got so much energy. That really sucks. Really, really sucks. Now I'm going to get nothing but attacks, and then he's going to hit me for a ton of damage, and I'm going to die. Well, almost. This one. Random cost stuff. Alright, rage. This is not good. Still a lot of damage. I can hit him pretty hard. have any viruses in here? I do. So I'll get a little bit that way. Let's go for the big hit. Um, I don't really 
have a lot of choice, so I might as well just hit it. Oh, that's bad. I just sent him away from me, which means <laughs> I'm taking way more damage. Oh, I should have looked at that having knockback. All right, that's really bad. Um, if I get another energy, I can't do anything anyway. Crap. So I'm taking a bunch here I didn't need to. So I might die because of that. Uh, we're currently at five. So give me a bunch of defense. Like, I might survive this turn, maybe. But I don't know if I have much else in me. Viruses, do I have two? Yeah, we could get a decent hit there. Man, I wish I could kill you. Keep that and still get some damage off. So I still have a decent block there I was able to keep. Um, can I kill you? So shield out of the way. 56 damage. Uh, I mean, I don't think so. Yeah, we just have to use that to finish him off. It's not a huge deal. But I took way more damage there than I needed to, not paying attention. Knocking him back. Uh, I kind of irritated by that, but that's what happens when you play kind of quickly. Whenever you discard a close combat card through an effect, it gains 5 extra damage. I don't really have stuff that discards. First time you play a non-fading, non-fleeting maneuver, return it to hand. It costs 2 less until played. Eh, not bad. Uh, Drug-induced rage. In combat, this antiquorum activates when you shuffle your deck. Each round gain 1 max 3. So after we've run through the deck once, Every round, I gain Fury until I've got three Fury. So it's just increasing damage on cards, but only after we've run through the deck once. Um, I kind of like the idea of getting the maneuvers. First time you play a non-fading, non-feeding, turn it to hand, it costs two less until played. I think that's only once per combat. So it doesn't say, like, first time each round, or first time anything else. It's got to be just the first time in each combat that you play. I actually feel like the Drug Induced Rage fits better with what I'm doing. But I'm definitely in trouble. So we can heal here, which I have to do. I actually am bloodied, so bloodied is that you're at half health or less. So I'm actually, half would be 90. So I'll gain uh, 4. So all my cards will do 4 more damage. Oh, it's this guy all by himself. Great. So what's your deal? Each time a curse is erased, take damage. Combat begins, 5 curses in the discard pile. Each time you're injured, they heal 3. Okay, well that's interesting. Alright then. Forty-five is nuts. Uh, I nobody's far, so I can't really use this to help me. I'm actually going to use the divine intercession, looking for some block. Curse strength, 
Draw two, gain two, take five non-lethal damage. That's not super helpful. Um, we can get the Rage to draw a card, I guess. I mean, all I can do is the 27 block, and that's it. So I'm just going to have to do that. Now 48. So this one... Yeah, I'll get rid of that. You can take some damage. I'm gonna need it. That's my 17. Go ahead and play it. Play that. Smack you a little bit. Survive another round. Forty-five. It's like all the defense that I have. So we'll give you a big shot. Another big shot. Then I'm gonna take a big shot. Or a big tongue, whatever. Cthulhu licked me. Something like that. Um, yeah, we have to go defense. Discard a card. Let's discard. Virus, I guess. All right, I can survive the hit, but not very well. I can't kill you, of course. Draw something that way. So it does give me some more defense. Do 27. Yeah, let's do that. It also avoids me taking damage from the virus this turn. Tongue again. And 44. Wonderful. Oh, I took damage from the corruption. Great. On draw, corruption gave me damage. Awesome. Really helpful. Appreciate that so much. Uh, I think I am probably dead here. I don't see a way to survive unless we draw some good stuff. Yeah, I mean, if you were weaker, I could maybe get a kill in. As it is, I'm just doomed. Can't do enough, and he's throwing a bunch of damage at me. The curse that I drew there um, did the extra damage to me, so I took that at the start. So all I can do is that, and the only thing I can do would be to get rid of the virus, which reduces the damage I take by two, but he's gonna hit me for 44 when I'm at nine health and 13, or 13 health and nine block. So that's gonna do it. I probably screwed something up there somewhere in that third section during that run. Yeah, I definitely did. So when we knocked that one guy back and I took a bunch of extra damage because I knocked that guy back, I think that would have made a big enough difference that I could have probably survived at least and made it to the boss. I don't know if I would have survived the boss, but that was an extra at least 20 some odd damage, 26 Maybe more, actually, because it was doubled. 
So yeah, I think that would probably would have been another extra 26 or so health that I would have had going into this fight that would have helped me kind of make it through. Potentially getting rid of the um, Antiquorum that gave me block for the curses that I would get also might have made a difference there. But he gave me curses at the beginning of the fight and they go into the deck so that doesn't count so you don't get the block right away. It's when stuff's added to your deck later. So it's like if it's something that like immediately is added, it doesn't really help you. Um, if I had been able to build up my virus a little better, maybe that would have worked because we could have gone into the defensive mode a couple times there as we progressed through. And maybe that would help me get through. But yeah, I mean, we did an okay job. I think that's fairly respectable. I do feel like the Tainted Ones, uh, the whole faction, are a bit weaker than the other faction because they don't have the ability to completely ignore and block uh, close combat attacks. So no matter how high the amount is, the other faction, when they build up their counter charge, can just counter and just totally ignore an attack and whatever the most powerful attack is coming in, which sometimes can be massive, like 80-some damage coming at you. So, yeah, now thinking about that, I think that attack that hit me because I knocked him back was 82 after I knocked him back. So maybe it was an extra 40 some odd damage I took. But yeah, it's um, this faction, I think they need maybe some built-in block or something or additional health or maybe some other things should trigger. Like maybe when they trigger the five and the... Like when they trigger the five, maybe they should get some extra armor. Or maybe they get, like, one armor around after that. Or, like, something needs to help them kind of take those shots. Because they don't have the ability to kind of deal with the big hits coming in, it seems like. But it also could be the cards that I'm using and luck and that kind of stuff factoring into it. And it's probably my bad decisions as well, of course. But yeah, this has been a look at the early access of Beneath Aressa. So trying out Sora again. Definitely made it a bit further, so I feel a bit better with her. We made it, you know, a little bit over halfway through. If we'd gotten... A little bit luckier with who we were fighting, I think we would have made it to the boss anyway, but if I hadn't screwed up that one attack, uh, knocked that person back, taken the extra damage, we probably would have made it through that fight and progressed to the end anyway. So, definitely my own fault, for sure. Hopefully I will see you again in something else. We'll take a look at this some more if uh, new factions get added or things change much. Probably there'll be some balancing with the cards. This is early access, so things can and will change. There's a whole additional faction that will definitely be added, because uh, they're already kind of on the screen. But that might be waiting until the actual release before they add that. I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, thanks for coming by. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, have a good one.